Hi everybody, welcome back to Arm Candy. We have got a classic mulberry for you today. So this is a mulberry Bayswater, um, but it is the double zip tote version of the Bayswater. Um, so a little bit more of a kind of smart, professional version of the original Bayswater. Um, I think it would make a really nice work bag. I'll talk you through all the features of it. So we've got these double top handles. Um, they are adjustable as well. Um, so you could even adjust them and have them perhaps as a shoulder strap too. Um, and attached to these handles, we've got a little mulberry cloche. And you can see that's got that mulberry padlock poking out the bottom there. Um, it's in this gorgeous kind of silky calf leather. Um, it's super, super soft. Um, but I like this leather because although it is soft, it's still pretty hard wearing as well. You can see that the condition is nice. Um, but yeah, this is a very, very lovely leather. Um, it also has a removable strap. Um, so it's clipped onto either side, which makes it even more useful and practical, especially for work. It means you can wear it on the go a little bit easier. Um, it's also adjustable, so we've got it on the shortest set at the minute, but there's a few options to make it longer. And then inside, oh, we have four base studs on the bottom there as well. And then inside, we've got a few different compartments. So we have two zipped compartments. You can see that's where that double zip name comes from. So we've got a zipped compartment at the back, um, so you've just got a nice open space in there and then a zipped compartment at the front as well. Um, so I'll zip those up so you can see how that zip works. It's still nice and smooth. And then we've got one central compartment. This is like the main body of the bag. That has a press dead fasten. Um, and then we've got one zipped pocket there. That's got that mulberry tag with the serial code on the back there. And then on the other side, we have got two pockets and um, we've also got those internal buckles as well and then right on the front where we have this postman's lock um, which is iconic to the Bayswater you can undo that and then you've got a kind of hidden section at the front just there and um, so lots of nice organization again just lending it even more um, to be a really great work bag um, I'll talk you through the condition so we have called the exterior condition good um, it's beautiful. You can see the shape is still really nice. It's all really lovely, um, but you can just see that it has had a life before. So there's just faint marks, small little kind of nothing major, just general signs of use over the bag. Um, you can see just faint kind of scratches, which you'll only be able to see in a certain light, especially because of its colour. But that is just some signs of use. I'll show you that base as well. So nothing major, um, but there's just signs of use over the whole bag. But those corners, as you can see, are in a really lovely condition. So that's why I've called the exterior good condition. The interior, again, we've called good condition. Again, you can just tell that it has been loved before. And um, perhaps where a hand is coming in and out of there, you've got a bit of a faint mark on there and on the other side as well, on that leather. The actual fabric interior is lovely and clean, um, but that's why I've called the interior good condition. And then the hardware we've called very good condition. A lot of it still has this plastic seal on it. Um, so you can see where it's just lifting in the corner, but underneath that plastic seal, the hardware is perfect. Um, there's just a little bit of scratching right to the center of these base studs but nothing major at all so that's why i've called the hardware very good condition i'll show you what it comes with so we have this super handy handbag angels um, bag liner and um, so it just keeps that interior cleaner um, and then it's also got these extra little pockets as well so you've got even more organization inside the bag and then we have the mulberry dust bag and um, finally, we have got the mulberry paper bag as well. So a nice big mulberry paper bag um, would be especially nice if you're giving this as a gift to someone. And um, it's always nice when it comes with a gift bag too. If you'd like to see it on our website, go to the link in the description below. It is the link to shop, so it should hopefully take you straight to this on our website. If it doesn't, and it just takes you to our regular product page, um, have a browse through all of our other products while you're on there. Um, but that does mean that this has sold. So if you're looking out for this in particular, let us know, we'll get you on the request list and we'll let you know as soon as we have in another one um, so that you can get in there nice and quickly next time.
I'm going to show you the size on me for reference. So I am a size UK 10 and I'm a five foot four. Um, with those top handles you can put on your arm like that. Um, and I just think it looks really lovely. It's quite smart and professional, um, a nice kind of simple shape and design, but very, very useful. You can have it with this crossbody shelf as well, like that, if you want to wear it on the go. Um, so have a look at it on armcandybagco.com. Sign up to my newsletter while you're on there and we'll send you through your welcome discount code. And also have a look at the How To Sell With Us page if you're interested in selling your pre-loved designer bags. If you've got any gorgeous bags like this one just sitting in the cupboard, um, looking for a new home, let us know. We would love to see what you've got. And we'll see you very soon with some more gorgeous bags.